Welcome back to the Pop 'em Don't Watch 'em Whiskey YouTube Show. Troy back with a banger. Today, you know it already, you see it on the table. K Luke, batch five, barrel strength, just hit. It is available now. Everybody knows K Luke now. The name is out there, starting to get. Popular after Fred Minnick, top 25 whiskey of the year. Jonathan was on a Mash and, Jer a Mash and Drums show not too long ago. The secret is now out. K. Luke is a top player in the game. My boy, Jonathan Maisano, owner of Maisano's Fine Wine and Spirits in beautiful Ocean Springs, Mississippi. This is his blend, his label. If you want to uh, see more, I did a review on Batch 1 and Batch 2. Go check those reviews out. Batch 4 is right here. Batch 4, everybody's been going crazy over Batch 4. Instant sellout everywhere. Rave reviews. But then, the other night, got to actually drink Batch 5 with Jonathan himself and... See, every batch, it's like, how are you going to top this? And somehow he does it because batch four was intense. And then we tasted batch five, and I'm like, holy shit, he did it again. Batch five, absolute banger. I'm not even going to su put suspense into it, guys. But the big thing here, we're going to give a full review of batch five, but I'm going to compare it to the infamous batch four that everybody has been going crazy over. We're gonna see the differences. That's the biggest thing that's been for me so far with the K-Luke batches is that they're all, you know, the base profile is there, but they're all offer something different. Now, this is the barrel strength versions. Guys, don't forget about the 100 proof. The 100 proof is a great everyday sipper. If you're not big into the high proof, it also stands up very well in any cocktail you want to make with it. Don't forget about the 100 proofs. But these are the batch proof, barrel strength, K-Luke batch 4, and then the K-Luke batch 5. So batch 4 was 117.7 proof. Batch 5 is 119.4. Again, it's a blend of MGP, Indiana, well... It's a blend of Indiana, we don't know for sure, MGP, but you get the gist of it. Indiana and Kentucky, high and low rye bourbons. The highest rye is going to be around 36% in that mash bill in the blend. And I'll tell you what, man, his I said it in my reviews in batch one, batch two. I reviewed it before anybody. And so I'm telling you, this is old Carter type blending quality. And I was not lying, as now you can see it is officially taken off. So let's get into batch number five, the brand new release. As I'm filming this today, I think it actually went on seal box on sale today. If I'm not mistaken, it's probably already sold out. I know it went on sale uh, this week here in Louisiana, and, and pff, you can forget about it. Batch five. So like I said, this is definitely a certain profile he's going for here. You can get it on each batch, but could be lighter, could be brighter, could be deep, darker, richer. This batch, to me, is one of the brightest. It's, it's real bright fruit, bright vanilla. You get oak. That oak is always in each batch. A nice, nice punch of oak. And it actually noses in, you know, on the palate, I don't know the age. Jonathan does not give the age. I don't blame him. Age should not be a determining factor. I had eight-year MGP samples for a barrel pick the other day. Eight-year. Every one of them were subpar. So age is not everything, guys. I've had five-year and four-year whiskeys that would blow away some eight, nine years. So he does not like to put the age on there because he doesn't want the age to define the product. 
Because everybody keeps asking, you know, what's the age? The age does not matter. Quality matters. Taste matters. But yeah, tons of fruit on this one. Whereas if I remember right, we're going to get into a batch four to me was one of the darker batches. Chocolate, dark cherries, a lot of oak, a lot of dark burnt caramels. This one is just so bright. Oh man, those fruits. I'm getting apple, pear. It has like this sweet candy note to it as well. I, I can't pinpoint exactly what candy it is, but it's, it's a very sweet Bright, no, bright's the, I know I keep saying that, but that's the word that best describes this batch. To Jonathan and his wife, congratulations on another great release. Batch five, cheers. Mm. Wow. So on the palate. That is like oil. You want to talk about viscous? My God, that is. My whole mouth is covered. Really has a nice punch to it. Another word to describe all these batches so far, which I think is very important, balance. They've all been so balanced with the spice and the sweetness. You got, I'm getting another sip because that first sip that was just so much spice and oily mouthfeel, that's all I could concentrate on. I could not believe how viscous it was. And of course, very important to Jonathan is a long finish. This thing's still going. I'm still tasting it. So always a great finish on K. Luke products. I can't get over that mouthfeel. Rye spice is there. I mean, a heavy, heavy vanilla extract note backed by that spice. It's almost like a black pepper note. <laughs> it's almost like a like an apple with vanilla extract, heavy vanilla extract, Oak and burnt pepper. That, that's burnt black pepper. That is the note on this one, but it's very bright. Very viscous, very bright. Let's compare it to batch four. Yeah, see, batch four. Man, that is tough. Is batch five the new... K. Luke Goat. I don't, batch four, as I remember, dark cherry. I get a heavy dark cherry and a cocoa powder note. Not a chocolate, but like a, a bitter cocoa powder note. And it is definitely still there with that dark cherry and that oak. This is tough because I know people can say which one's better. When it comes to something like this, a product like this, it's not that one is better than the other. They're just so different. It might depend on what you like, but I, I, there is no... I, let's get a little more into it, but... Yeah, I mean, that's... This one, I just feel, is a little darker, richer on the nose. Or this one just pops out the glass. I'm getting a little bit more of that um, cocoa powder on this one as well, but that's probably because it's coming so strong on batch four for me. So first off, batch five, easy buy. Easy pick up on batch five. That balance, keyword, the balance on that bourbon. That is tough. I'm going to tell you what the finish is. If you're a finish guy, this is your whiskey. This is your bourbon. The finishes are un, 
real on both of these batches. <sighs> Man, when I tried them side by side the other night, I liked batch five better. Here tonight, I'm liking, as I'm making this review, I'm liking batch four better. So that tells you right there, they're, they're really not better than each other. It's just so different. They offer such a different, but yet the same profile. I'm, I'm telling you, that is his, his just magic as a blender, his mastering of the blending process. And let me tell you something. It is not easy to blend bourbon. Not easy at all. Him and his wife both do the blending. And let me tell you, I'm not over-exaggerating, guys. The blending skills right here, it just comes through. Just having them together and do it yourself. You can get both, both batch five and batch four. Try them side by side because that's when you really, you know, that's when you really understand, oh, shit. You know, this is, this is some legit serious blending going on here because, you, you know, usually you, you know this and you taste like, okay, this one's, you know, this batch is blowing you it's not like that. It's it's very, I know it sounds crazy, but it's very different, but yet the same. It's, and like I said before, I'm starting to understand the profile that he's going for, but each batch branches off that profile to do a little bit of its own thing to give you a little something different. We got one more sip here and we'll, we'll call it a day. Now it's changing. It's, that caramel, that burnt caramel is really coming through. Man. That's so... The complexity is just off the charts. That it's changing like that now. Batch 4 is... If you put a gun in my head and was like... I'm only because I like that bitter chocolate note that I'm getting on batch four, but geez, batch five. Whew. I don't know how he's going to top it. Batch six, probably do. He probably, he'll probably do something crazy in batch six, but watch K. Luke. Some big time projects coming soon. Also, the Rye Batch 2 coming soon. Rye Batch 1, I had it at the New Orleans Bourbon Fest. Guys, cannot wait to try Batch 2 Rye. I'll give you a full review here on the channel. Be on the lookout for that. That is coming soon. Batch 5 automatic buy. Guys, if it's K-Luke, it doesn't matter if it's the 100 proof. Doesn't matter if it's batch one, two, three, four, five. If it's the single barrel, if it's the rye, you already know what to do. Pop! Don't watch.